Welcome back. This is Mega Man 3, and I'm Kenshin1913, along with my friend, Ghosty Fells. And we're playing, like I said, playing Mega Man 3, and for some reason, in the last episode, I became invisible. Invincible or something. I don't know why I'm still blinking, but... I'm not gonna mess with it now, you know what I mean? Am I still blinking? No, not anymore. So basically, what you wanna do is just like go... I just wail at him. And bam, he's gone. I just wail at him. I take him out with my shadow blade. Now, since I fucked this up, well, now nah, I can't believe I dropped an F bomb, but I screwed this up, so, uh, we're gonna have to, we're gonna stop the video and get, and get, uh, Ghosty's control scheme down so that we can keep playing, but, uh, hopefully he can be quick. He's quicker than me, and then, you know, he can beat Magnet Man and Snake Man, so we'll be right back. Alright, we're back. Alright, so I'm at the controls now, and I think I'm gonna do Snake Man. Snake Man is next. Now, his weakness, oddly enough, is the game, the programmer's messed up, and he's the only one in this game that's weak to his own power, as well as, I think, Spark Man. I think I'm just gonna show you uh, Sparkman's power. I'm not gonna use it for this this uh, level, but just to show you yeah. what we got. It's basically an electric pulse or something. Yeah. Now this is one of my one of my probably one of my favorite songs in the game. This one and I think uh, I like um, Magnet Man's too. There's a lot of good songs in these Mega Man games. I enjoy Mega Man 2 Bubble Man the best, but... Wow, nice job jumping over those guys. Now, this snake, normally what I would do is I change the hard man's, uh... I would change the hard man, the hard knuckle, and just take him out in like three, like three to three hits, but... Dan's going old school, challenging himself here. Now you gotta watch it, yeah, you gotta watch out for those guys, cause they're... You can hit them with two parts. Nice, life. And I also like in this game how Mega Man climbs faster. Yeah. In the first and second game, he climbed really slow. Now you gotta watch out for those guys, cause... Cause not only will they hit you when they're running, but they're, uh stick that they jump with will also can also damage you. And this is probably an area where you could probably just use the shadow blade and just kill him from underneath. But Dan's taking it the old school way. Now you can take two paths here. I think the right gives you a if you take the right ladder it's just like a mystery box I think. Yeah. And it could be an energy tank, uh, extra life, big energy, little energy for your weapons. I don't know, I think there's a trick where you can shoot it and then go back up and then, like if you don't like it, you can leave the screen or something like that. There might be a trick, I'm not sure. So now we got the second of these giant snake heads. Do it the peak way this time. Yeah. Give the old hard knuckle. I think it takes two to three hits. Oh, that's a lot easier. Yeah, sometimes you learn something. Just like with the Shadow Blades in the last episode. Is he gonna make it? Sometimes I use Rush Coil on that because I start being a pansy. Uh. And I'm like, oh, I don't think I'm going to make the jump. And then I just use Rush Coil sometimes. But this is the one part, one of the parts of Snake Man's level I love the most. Because you, like, just start... Like, I had a vivid imagination as a child. And just friggin' climbing up into the clouds. I always thought this one, this part of the level was kind of... I mean, I, mean, I like it, but it, I've always felt it was kind of strange. Because, like, what does this have to do with snakes? Snake Man, uh, he hearts the clouds, isn't it? He hearts the clouds. 
And these uh, bullets remind me of uh, Bullet Bill from Mario Brothers. You could either shoot them or just let them be. Go, but I like to shoot them because, like, at least that way I know that there's a straight line. We'll go in a straight line instead of having, me having to worry about them, like, moving up and down and hitting me. Uh huh. Normally, uh. Normally here you can use Spark Man. I think I thought Needle Man was the one. Oh, really? And what's no Spark Man's good against Magnet Man? Yeah. Oh, and well then I guess Needle Man. I always use I always fight him six. Wow, man, you got his pattern down. I like how. uh... I really like the fights in Mega Man 3 because, like, they, I mean, they're pretty consistent patterns, but they, they're they patterns that force you to, like, be on your toes. Like, you really have to keep moving, and, and it kind of makes the fights more exciting. Mm hmm There we go. Snake Man is down. 